It is a pantheon of concrete and steel. It is a city that rises defiantly in the delta, alongside the father of waters. It is the humidity of autumn evenings, the draped stately oaks and broad magnolias. It is haunted, and it is wild. It is Halloween night and cannon blasts. It is a Louisiana gumbo of humanity that cheers its tigers to victory and destroys the dreams of invading foes. The chance of rain is never. It is the cathedral of college football, and worship happens here when the sun finds its home in the western sky. It is a field of glory, for sure, but much more than that. It is a sacred place. And it is Saturday night in Death Valley. understand you go out on the balcony and look, overlook the field and pray and just remain grateful for this opportunity that that um, you know that guardian angel in the sky gave you that happens huh every morning every morning at right six o'clock I'm out there and I thank God for the opportunity I have to leave this great university this great state coach these men and actually put a guidance to lead them in the right way I grew up a rich man in my mom and daddy's house. You know, they taught me how to compete. They taught me how to world, worldly things. They taught me how to go to school, want an education, and play football. I love them. If there's one thing from the time spent with Pete Carroll that you gleaned and, and, and use every day uh, in coaching, what would it be? How to handle players on a daily basis. Handle them like you would handle your own son. Make them feel loved. Let them know you have the knowledge and get them behind you. The reality of uh, being the head coach and being named the head coach uh, for good, yes. when it's your baby, Yes. then what? You would think it'd be nervousness. You would think it'd be anxiety. It was complete opposite. There's a feeling of peace, a feeling of confidence. We're ready to do this thing. It's a dream come true, really. It's a dream come true. It's a one in a million for a boy from South Louisiana to be the head coach of LSU. It's a dream. God bless you. Thank you. God bless Good to you. See you, man. Go Tigers. <laughs> Such a strange combination of a woman and a child Such a strange situation Stopping every hundred miles Calling Baton Rouge A replay of last night's events Rolled through my mind Except a scene or two Erased by sweet red wine and I see a truck stop sign ahead, so I change lanes. I need a cup of coffee and a couple dollars change. Call it Madden Roots. Operator, won't you put me on through? Gotta send my love down to Baton Rouge. Hurry up, won't you put her on the line? Gotta talk to the girl just one more time. Some 
Samantha, dear, I hope you're feeling fine And it won't be long until I'm with you all the time But until then I spend my money up right down on my last dime Call in Baton Rouge I'm ready, won't you put me on through Gotta send my love down to Baton Rouge Every story starts with a first act. Burrow throws over the top and he's got it. Touchdown, Jamar Chase. A world unfolds, characters develop, connections form, and stars begin to shine. There are surprises and action and drama and sometimes a little dancing. The victory media gives us a shot, you understand that? 60 minutes. You put the left man on the field and you fight like Titans. Plots thicken, protagonists emerge, and all the while, just on the horizon, confrontation looms. The stage is set, Act 1 is done, but the story's only just begun. Act 2 is up next. Get your popcorn ready. How much does Joe Burrow love football? Football is Joe Burrow. Football wasn't in my life. I don't really know what I would be doing. Burrow throws over the top and he's got it. Touchdown, Jamar Chase. Burrow to the corner. Touchdown, LSU. It's Justin Jefferson. Totally different offense. Burrow's got time and he's got six. Four receiver look. The inside pass is an easy touchdown. It's another for Terrace Marshall. Burrow takes a shot and he's got Thaddeus Moss. The tight end down to the 20 yard line. Burrow not pressured much today. He goes to the end zone. He's got another touchdown. Terrace Marshall finds Pater for the third time from the red shirt senior quarterback. 41 to 3. There comes a time when every man must leave home. He must grow up, go out, and find a place where he belongs. Some wander far to the ends of the earth. Some stay close to carry on their legacy. But some look across that border towards a new land and decide to start a legacy of their own. The Lone Star State has been good to the Tigers. On Saturday... Free ball, touchdown, LSU, Matthew off to the races. Sunday. All the way down the field. That stretch, this big back out of LSU has been a factor. And even on Saturday. He is in LSU. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. feeling. And it just make me feel like home. So that's where I'm going. But now isn't the time to talk about history. It's time to make history. It's time to leave home. Time to grow up and go out and make a legacy of your own. Nothing else matters. It's time to lock the gates. I think we're going to see two programs, two story programs, Texas, LSU. <laughs> but let's not get it twisted. Next week is the big one. You know, we shall focus on us, man. We all got to be stronger than here. The mental toughness got to be stronger than here. That's what we are. Hey, want to know. Oh, Texas, here we come, baby. Let's 
me for 60 minutes. I love this right there. Your son's gonna be a fight. Aiming in zone, and it gets through, and into the hands of Terrace Marshall. A 14-yard strike. First half for LSU. Burrow on play action, takes it over the middle. And a crossing route complete for a first down. Plenty of room to run. And LSU will take it all the way into Demon territory, 47 yards. Burrow keeps it, dives into the end zone. A touchdown run for the gunslinger, Joe Burrow. Demons drop back, Burrow trying to thread the needle. And he does it again. Terrace Marshall for the second time tonight. He's got John Emery Jr. in the backfield now. And Burrow lobs it downfield, complete for a first down. And a foot race now for John Trey Kirkland. Kirkland races all the way down. So you want to be a star. You want the heat of the spotlight. The gaze of the world cast your way. Well, my friend, you've come to the right place. This is a city where stars are born. This is a proving ground for those whose talents are only surpassed by their aspirations. They make records here, and records they say are meant to be broken. It's the Broadway of the Bible Belt, a place to take center stage and make a name for yourself. Everybody who's anybody has played this venue. Only a few, however, leave worthy of being called a star. Because that's not a label they just give away. It's a label you earn, and there's only one way to earn it. First, you pack the house, then, you bring it down. Dives into the end zone. Is going to take it to the house. Zone run team right now, as you see, no running back in the backfield. And a touchdown catch by Justin Jefferson. Quick tempo that time. That is the problem. If you're Jason Tarver, the defensive coordinator, teammates over the last 20 seasons with at least five touchdowns in the team's First four games to the air again, and this is Jamar Chase. He's in a chase, and he will take it all the way. One play, 6.64 yards. LSU looks unstoppable. And one high. LSU averaging 17 yards per play. Add to that with this touchdown catch from Jamar Chase. It goes for 25. It's just too easy right now. Passes for the first time since the first quarter at Texas two weeks ago. This is going to be a big one. It's Jamar Chase again. Chase will take it to the house. A 51-yard catch and run for Jamar Chase. Second score of the day. Guy had to. <laughs> and that's been done. Joe Burrow passes the chips right into the end zone. And it's Tracy McMath from six yards out. Pocket holds, another end zone shot. Beautiful pitch and catch. It's Jamar Chase again. His third touchdown of the game. 
Burrow over the middle, pass is caught, touchdown. Oh, we'll be at the half yard line. Burrow will try to quarterback sneak it in, and does he get in? No sign just yet. And there it is, touchdown LSU. Special on that one on the zone read. Burrow to throw, going up top, looking toward the end zone, pass is caught. Burrow scanning the field, pressure comes. Back across the middle, touchdown. Little play action for Burrow. Going up top toward the end zone. Jefferson is there, makes another catch. Burrow pass caught by Moss. Touchdown pass number five goes to Thaddeus Moss. If you ever come across a tiger at night, here's what you'll notice. First, you'll notice he's wide awake. That's because tigers are nocturnal. In the daylight, he rests. In the darkness, he hunts. Next, you'll notice his eyes, the glow in the moonlight, as they scan the horizon for prey. You might notice your heart is pounding in your chest, that funny feeling, and sweat is dripping down the back. That's fear, and he can sense it. What you won't notice is the sound he makes. Because a tiger moves quiet. And he's never more quiet than the moment just before he attacks. And when he does attack, trust me, you'll notice that. So if you ever come across a tiger at night, like you have on this night, remember this. Oh yeah, they hungry. And I wish you good luck. in the red zone. Burrow zips it across the middle. Caught! Touchdown! Jamar Chase! They fake it to him. And Burrow over the middle. Delivers a dart. Caught by Jefferson. Justin Jefferson slips a tackle. Step out of bounds. Back near the four to third. Looks like he's covered. Burrow pump fakes. Scanning the end zone. Rolling out. Fires a dart. Caught! Is it a touchdown? Jefferson was right in the pylon, and he did get in. Five receiver look. Burrow steps up, and will take a downfield shot, and has Chase, and he'll score! I just want to remind them how we felt the last time we walked out of the stadium. Yeah, that's right. We will never feel like that again. You guys understand right. that? Right. Sir, let's go. All right, here we go, man. Last time, let's go.
From the 40, they fake it to him. Deep sideline. Down the sideline is McMath. He's gone. Touchdown, OSU. 60 yards. First and goal at the eight. Burrow, the quick throw is caught for the touchdown. Jamar Chase. Just like that, LSU with another score. What an emergence, huh? Yeah. His dad, a longtime coach in college football. And here's his son going deep for another touchdown. Derek Dillon. 37 yards, and that's number three for his son. Joe Burrow, deep middle, touchdown, Justin Jefferson. Number four on the day for number nine. I thought Jaquarius Andrews, number 11, had this one the whole way, but he misjudged the strength of Burrow's throw on this one. Burrow looked off right, came back to the middle read. I thought number 11, Andrews, had it. Today's your day. Let's go. Everybody into it. Everybody in the sideline. Give it everything you got for your teammate. This is our day. This is our house. This is our stadium. It's our win. Okay, we'll take it. How do you answer that question? Who are you? Well, you give a name. That's not true. They put that name on you and they taught you to identify with it and to behave as it was expected to behave. But that's not who you are. You know very well. Go back in your memory. Go back into your infancy before they started telling you all this stuff. Who are you? The biggest games have a way of making everything seem a little bigger. The light shines a little brighter. The stakes feel a little higher. The inches are tough. The hits are harder. Big games are when we find out how big your heart is. How cool your nerves are. How good are you? And how bad do you want it? You put left middle of the field and you fight like tight all night. If every single eye in the country is going to be on me, it's for these games of the century moments. The bigger the moment, the smaller you focus. Be a big time player. Make a big time play. Every set. It's 11 men. One on one. When I take off. LSU looks unstoppable. I would not want anybody else in the country that we have right here. I believe in this guy.
LSU traveled to Tuscaloosa to take on Alabama in a historic matchup. It's the first time in college football history that two teams ranked number one in both the AP poll and the coaches poll have met during the regular season. Tungabaloa in the shotgun. Najee Harris on a wing to his right. Motion Smith at the snap. They'll fake the pitch to him. Throw out in the flat, but the pass going to be deflected. Great job by Rashard Lawrence. Big third down. Snap back to Tungabaloa. He's going to have to run for it to the right side of the field. Lost the football. Going to be picked up by the Tigers at the nine-yard line. Big turnover by the Crimson Tide. First down, handed off Clyde edwards Lair Spins away from one tackler in the backfield. Across the 10, the 15, and very close to the first down sticks. They'll say his knee was down. Burrow in the pocket. Pressure comes. Now he'll start to run. Sidesteps a man. Gets across the 20. Far side, then forced out of bounds up near the 25. Burrow calls for the snap. Alabama trying to get to him. He's got time. Floats it out far side. Catch grabbed by Jamar Chase up around the 45. Eventually out of bounds. Alabama again trying to get a quick start. Burrow throws across the middle. Grabbed by Jefferson inside Crimson Tide territory. 16 yard on the completion. Burrow throwing far side and going to be grabbed by Chase at about the three. He'll step into the end zone by his lonesome. Touchdown Tigers! Pressure comes. Burrow steps up. Burrow going to decide to run. Comes near side inside the 25 and brought down right around the 22 yard line. Placement is down, kick is up. It has the leg, and the kick is right through the uprights. Alabama showing man on the receivers as Burrow steps back. Has time, floats it out in the flat. Clyde Abergelaire makes the catch on the hitch, gets away from a defender up across the 40. Great job by Clyde Abergelaire showing what he can do in the passing game. Burrow again looking to throw, off to Jefferson. Floats it near side. Jefferson makes one man miss. Now into Crimson Tide territory. Justin Jefferson. In the backfield with Burrow, he's looking to throw as a man wide open at the 20. Racing into the end zone. Terrace Marshall left wide open. Burrow stands tall in the pocket, fires, has a man open, caught at midfield into Bama territory. It's going to be Jamar Chase. 35-yard pitch and catch from Burrow to Chase. Burrow ready to go, but he's under duress. Slips through a couple of arm tackles, rolls to his right, drops it off at about the 34-yard line, far side to Thad Moss. Pulls from Clyde Ebergelaire, throws out into the flat, far side. Jamar Chase makes one man miss, slipped away from a tackle. Already good from 40 yards earlier. Placement is down, the kick is up. Does it have enough to get there? And it does! A 45-yard field goal for Cade York. Third down and three. Swing it back to the near side to Smith. Going to be cut down at about the 32-yard line. This time, Caleb on Chasson. Open field tackle. Got him around the shins and trips him up. Now again, going to run. Got room. 45-40. Makes one man miss with a juke move. And Burrow gets up. Some kind of fired up. Burrow slings it far side and diving for it. Moss, did he hold it in? They'll say a catch down inside the one. That time picking on Trayvon Diggs. Third down goal to go from the one. Todd edwards Lair with a handoff. Goes airborne into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Here's an interception on first down and 10. Taken at the 42-yard line by Patrick Queen. Queen down the far side. Hash going to be stood up at the 25-yard line. Burrow looking left. Delivers the football. Todd edwards Lair got in the left corner. Touchdown, Tigers! First down, pass play, score. Snap back, here comes a blitz. Going to drop it off, Clyde edwards Lair has it at the 35, up the near sideline, inside the 30. Going to be very close to the first down sticks. They'll give him forward progress to the five. Picks up the first down and then some. First down snap. Clyde edwards Lair spins off a defender by his lonesome. Left corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Shotgun snap, Burrow steps up in the pocket, fires. Going to be caught by Chase at the 38, across the 40. Bounce from about the 48 into Bama territory. Down to six, they'll take the snap. Burrow slings it, wide open. Did he hold on? Jefferson did. Burrow lines him up. Here's a quick snap. Burrow keeping off the left edge with Rue inside the 20. 15, 10, slug down at the six-yard line of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Snap to Burrow. Hand to Clyde edwards Lair Goes near side. Stiff arms a man. Gets to the five. Breaks through. Stays upright. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! LSU.
LSU with the football and a five-point lead. Snap back. Handoff, Clyde Ebergy Lair gets through the surge and gets hit as he makes it to the 45 and then carries virtually all but three Crimson Tide defenders inside the 40 to about the 37-yard line and picks up the first down. You think this young man from Baton Rouge doesn't want to play this game? LSU watches the final seconds roll off the clock. They've already taken the score and the clock off the facade here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. <laughs> It's about practice, it's about preparation, it's about being early to meetings. It's about transition, it's about great energy at practice, and I will talk to the team each day about the preparation, and we have a lot riding through this game. And it doesn't matter what we did yesterday, this is the biggest game because it's our next game. There's a secret all the great performers know. It's what separates the headliners from the one-hit wonders. To get to the top, you can't just bring the house down once. When you bring them to your feet with your very best performance, after you play all the right notes, after you drop the mic and they drop the curtains, you've got to come back out the next night and do it all over again. We were good tonight. We've got to be better tomorrow. The stages only get bigger. The spotlights only get brighter. The show goes on. And we're not here just to put on a show. We're here to put on a clinic. Some quarterback from Ohio that came in. Wide. Not everybody won him. Justin Jefferson, two-star recruit, Fad Moss transfer, me transfer. Nobody believed me. I told you. from Ohio State, eluded the rush, lofts it deep for a touchdown, Jamar Chase. I had a chance to visit with him today before the game over in the Grove. Morrow throws, Jamar Chase wide open, touchdown. The number one pick in the draft in the NFL next year. Justin Jefferson will win that race, touchdown LSU. Again, comfortably so from the seven. Burrow, touchdown. They bring pressure right in his face. He got it off. Jamar Chase breaks free. They have angles on him. He made a great cut to the outside and scored. Where we come from, talk is cheap. You judge by what you produce. You have to prove yourself over and over again. And even then, they still doubt you. Oh, oh, oh. 60 minutes. You put 11 men on the field and you fight like Tigers. All night. Where we come from, nothing is given. Everything is earned. You finish what you start. You eat what you kill. One day, you feasted, but the next, you starving again. And where we come from defines us. It's who we are. Touchdown, Chase. Bust into the open. It's touchdown, Tigers. Delivers interception. We represent something way bigger than ourselves. And that's why we never forget it. We never forget where we come from. And that's how we know where we're going.
the unsung hero in the aforementioned Eli. Wide open in the end zone. It's Chase for the touchdown. They Burrow to the air again. Gets rid of the pass in time. It's caught, and it's another touchdown. Justin Jefferson hits Pater. Play action here for Burrow with a ton of time. Wide open man. Jamar Chase walks in. Touchdown, Tigers. Football is for finishers. It's why we hold up four fingers after three quarters. It's why we fight for one yard after 99. It's why we hit the wall and smash right through the line. It's why we get up when we stumble. Finishing is painful, but pain is useful. It tears us down only to make us stronger. Champions process pain. They catalyze it. They let it simmer until it comes to a ball. We've got unfinished business. We've got a debt to collect. We've got a score to settle. And there's only one way to settle it. You take the last yard. You play through the last whistle. Between what it means to be good when you're trying to be epic No, you don't gotta believe in me, nothing can stop me, I already said it I'm taking everything they stole from us You got your problems, I'm a whole nother I'm giving people something to believe in I'ma show them freedom like a boat You stand tall for four quarters Or for however long it takes From start to finish Until the job is done Forever, L-S-U. Involving those guys. On third and ten, seven minutes to go in the opening quarter. Wide open receiver, Justin Jefferson, a touch. Wasn't sure he wanted to put his family through that. Another play fake by Burrow, and a deep strike, and an open receiver, Jamar Chase, another touchdown. They bring a blitz, is this the record tire? Flag down, it's a touchdown for Jamar Chase. And if it stands, it's the 44th touchdown pass of the season. For Jimmy Burrow's son Ten Joe to, to tie the SEC the defense, record. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. When the moment comes, breathe it in. Notice it. Acknowledge it well in it. It's only here because you worked for it. You might as well savor it. When the moment comes, greet it with a smile. Enjoy it. Dance with it. You've earned that right. When the moment comes, launch yourself into it. Attack it fearlessly. Head first. Nothing held back. You've earned that right too. And when the moment comes, make it yours. Grab it. Seize it. Take ownership of it. Take what you've earned. Claim what is rightfully yours. Reap everything you've sown. And when it passes, let there be no doubt who this moment belongs to. Because now is the moment.
Scanning the field. Pointing. Wow. Now he's going to go deep. And caught. Jamar Chase for the touchdown. You cannot rush three guys against Joe Burrow. I would say he had six or seven seconds At to least. throw that ball. As good as Eric Stokes is, you're not going to cover these receivers for that long. That strategy is going to have to change. 45th passing touchdown, a new SEC record. He was tied with 44. Didn't take long to break that. It is at the 48-yard line. Now the play fake to Edward Z. Lair and going deep left sideline. Coverage is a cut. Yes, Terrace Marshall. There's the fake, there's the lob, there's a wide open Terrace Marshall. Touchdown, LSU. How about the design? Almost 20 minutes left to play. Here comes the blitz on Burrow. They're giving chase, and he somehow escapes again. And now throws late on the run. Got it. Justin Jefferson. Jefferson. First and goal for LSU. Brad, I want to ask you a question. Third down. Quick slant. There it is. Gary called it. Touchdown. Wow. Terrace Marshall. Well, I thought they might go to the corner, but they got an easier throw. They went slip someone out. Burrow. The fade to the corner to Jefferson. Touchdown. LSU. It's easy to get distracted. All the accolades, all the expectations, they can make you feel like you have something. Like the job is finished. The work is done. Tigers claim their 12th SEC championship. This moment belongs to you. Jim Thorpe, we're a grand double from LSU. The recipient of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Joe Burrow. You know better than that. LSU and Oklahoma, as a famous author once said, never settle. You, you know what fades time. away, and you know what lasts forever. Talk 
will get you nowhere. So don't believe me. The job is far from finished. So finish it. Put your hand in the dirt, throw your heart across the line, and your body will follow. Keep your foot on the gas and keep the goal in view. Terrence Marshall cuts down LSU to the second. Garrett Stanley, are you kidding me? Victory for LSU. Being perfect is about being able to look your friends in the eye and know that you didn't let them down because you told them the truth. And that truth is, is that you did everything that you could. There wasn't one more thing that you could have done. Finals between number one LSU and fourth ranked Oklahoma. The Tigers making their first ever appearance in the playoff. Oklahoma, it's third straight, fourth in the last five years. 50 catches, most of that in the second half of the year. First team all SEC after the play fake, the slant, the catch, and the touchdown for Justin Jefferson. He feels pretty good at this point, because it did not show any signs on those two runs. Lamar Chase now lined up on the left hip of Burrow. He feels the rush so well, and throws for a touchdown. Terrace Marshall, after the quick checkup, when he hit his head, back on the field into the end zone, it's 13 to seven. As he tries to set the single season completion percentage mark. The end of the game, it's 77-9. That would be the record. Throwing deep, has him in, another touchdown. Jefferson hangs on this time for six points. Yeah, he just said they had so many dropped interceptions, balls that they've had their hands on that they couldn't come down with. Burrow dodges the rush, going for Jefferson again. It's another touchdown. It's already tied the single game playoff record with four touchdown passes, some trickery. They need a big play, and instead it's intercepted. Picked off by Kerry Vincent, intended for Nick Basquin. In the football game, and it's a huge one on third and 17. 22-yard gain, Burrow deep again, on target again. Jefferson again, touchdown again. It's kind of like an ISO play. They bring the tight end in motion and lead him as a blocker. On target, wide open receiver. Thaddeus Moss with one man to beat. Touchdown! Pat Fields could not get him down. Burrow fakes it. Throws wide open. Touchdown! Terrace Marshall this time. He said he harbors no ill will. Toward the Buckeyes had a great experience there. He wants a rushing touchdown, and he has it. He's thrown for seven, and now he's rushed for one. We mentioned Bob Stoops. 
John Emery into the end zone. Final score, LSU 63, Oklahoma 28. Think of all that time, every sprint in the summer, every weight in the winter, all those hours no one else saw. Think of every sacrifice, early mornings on the levee, late nights in the film room, bus rides to playoff games, every bump in the road, Every moment of ecstasy, every moment of doubt, years wondering, is it all worth it? It's all led to this. Man, I got this it's a 60 minute drive for a 60 minute game. After all the miles we've traveled, we're almost there. After all the hours we've worked, one more can make us legends. After all that time, this is our time. Looking for Jamar Chase. Caught at the 15 yard line. He will waltz into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! 52 yard touchdown strike. A.J. Terrell was on coverage but got beat by Jamar Chase, who hauls in his 19th touchdown of the year. Joe Burrow throws touchdown number 56. Burrow has the pocket, sails it far side, looking for Chase. Caught. He stops at the 21, gets away from a defender inside the 15, far side, and down inside the five before safety help brings him down. A third down and goal. Burrow, design run, cuts to his left. He'll get to the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Fifth rushing touchdown of the year for Joe Burrow, and I think they fooled the Clemson defense on that play. Burrow has late pressure coming. He'll step up in the pocket, tuck and run. Far side, outside the numbers, 20. Steps out of bounds, right at the first down sticks. LSU on the attack, late pressure comes. Dropping it off Jefferson, far side. Stops again at the 21. Goes back inside the 15, down to the 14-yard line of Clemson. Here's the snap. Offensive line holds the throw, looking for Chase. Caught, right corner. The late handoff, ETN's going to be caught from behind and dropped. At about the 41-yard line, Glenn Logan. Low snap and handle. Give the Clyde Edwards a layer. Misses one tackler near side, 10, 15, up the sideline, across the 20, 25. Bounced out of bounds, up around the 30-yard line. An empty set for Joe Burrow. Calls for the snap and gets it. Throws, catch made by Jefferson. Got to make a play, gets to the 40, knocks over a Clemson Tiger defender, makes his way to the 35. It's a first down for LSU. Five wide, three to the left, two to the right, working from the short side hash, and they'll give it off to Burrow. He's got room, setting up walkers at the 20, to the 15, and gets inside to about the 11 yard line on the run. Snap called for, belt high, Burrow has it, late pressure comes, throws, right in the middle of the end zone, wide open, Thad Moss, touchdown LSU! A third and 
11. Full house blitz. Set it up the screen. Chase goes to the far side. Down the sideline. Inside the 40. Breaks the tackle at the 35. Cuts across the middle of the field and dropped down from behind inside the 20 of Clemson. Down to the 16-yard line. Go. Looking and throws late, but he gets Moss. Left corner, and did he get in? That's a touchdown. Got it over the pylon. Left side of the end zone. Lawrence with ETN on a sidecar to his left. Takes the shotgun snap. Again, set screen. ETN gets it, and he is nailed behind the line of scrimmage by Patrick Queen. Snap back. Joe has it. Looks, launches towards the end zone, adjusting. Terrace Marshall goes up, pulls it down. Touchdown, LSU. 24-yard touchdown pass. Add another to Joe Burrow. Give Terrace Marshall his first reception for a touchdown tonight. His 13th on the year. Steps up in the pocket, moves to his left. Again, going to run. Going to be tripped up. Ball came out. Picked up by LSU at the 40-yard line. Derek Stingley, Jr. The snap, the knee, and the Tigers of LSU. A team of destiny and a team for ages. Celebrate on the field here tonight in New Orleans inside the Superdome, capturing the national title. Of a girl in Louisiana. Though I'm out on the highway, my thoughts are still with her. Such a strange combination of a woman and a child. Such a strange situation, stopping every hundred miles, calling Baton Rouge. A replay of last night's events roll through my mind. Except a scene or two erased by sweet red wine And I see a truck stop sign ahead so I change lanes I need a cup of coffee